Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix the RAM frequencies on your Newway Hackintosh. So you can see in about this Mac here, the memory just says 4GB of RAM. So I've not got any description on the uh, frequencies, so say it's 3200 MHz. Um, and whether it's DDR3, DDR4, you can't do DDR5 yet because obviously uh, no Mac in the whole world has DDR5 yet. So, we're actually going to need to go onto the Proxmox web interface. So, I'm going to just do that now. So, you'll see that we're on the Proxmox in interface and we want to go to the shell. On the shell, we want to do the command here DMI decode space dash dash type space 17. Press enter. And then you'll see the RAM. So, I've got four sticks of RAM. They're all 8 gigabytes for a total of 32 gigabytes of RAM. And you can see I've got a 1600 megahertz, mega transfers or megahertz, um, actual mega transfers um, from a speed. And it's synchronous, so we need to make sure we remember that. And the width and data width is 64 bits. So, and it's DDR3, just to add. So, we can add the part numbers and stuff if you want to do that, and the serial number. But I just need to know that um, I know that they're all Kingston, so um, I'm going to set it to Kingston. So for this, we're actually going to just need Open Core Configurator. So we've used that a lot. You have Hackintosh, you'll probably already have it in the downloads folder. Certainly mine does because I just use templates for my videos on Proxmox. So if you want to see a video on templates, please do let me know by commenting below and liking this video. But if we go to mount TFI, mount the partition, and then open it, we want to just go to the inside the EFI folder when it decides to open, or see, and then open up your config.peer list. This should automatically open in Open Core Configurator. But now we're ready to do the RAM. So if we go to Platform Info, this is where you usually set your SM BIOS. But I've already done that, so I don't need to do it. But you can see we've got an option for memory. So, on memory, we want to set the data width, which we know was 64. So, let's set that. We've not got any error correction, but the form factor is going to be dim. And also, the type is going to be DDR3 for me. And then the type detail, click that little calculator, untick unknown and click synchronous and it will automatically fill 128 in for you. Do the plus at the bottom now and then we'll do plus again. Once I, you can see on um, about this Mac that, sorry about the slowness by the way, it's actually really smooth because I'm using VNC to display this. Um, on about this Mac you can see we've got 4 gigs of RAM in total. So what I'm going to do is do 2 gigs of RAM in each DIMM. So, to do that, I want to double click inside the value and do 2048, which is 2048 megabytes, which is 2 gigabytes. And then for the speed, um, it was 1600 mega transfers, just had to double check there. And then again at the bottom. You can actually populate with this with whatever you want. You could put that you've got uh, 5000 megahertz RAM. Kingston, again up here. And then on the device locator, do DIM, all capitals, underscore A1. And then for the other one, DIM, underscore B1. And then if you add more sticks, if you wanted to add more, all you do is do DIM underscore A2, dim underscore B2, and then dim underscore C1, and then bank 0 for the bank locator, bank 1, and then so on. So you'd have bank 2 for the next. Also make sure custom memories uh, there. Once we've done that, we're going to go to file, save, and then restart the Mac. So I'll meet you back when it's restarted. 
So we're back in the login screen, so I'm going to log in now, and we're going to see what about this Mac looks like. So, um, once we've logged in, again, I'll just give VNC a minute. Um, if we go to about this Mac, look at that. 4 gigabytes of 1600 mhz DDR3 instead of just 4 gigabytes of RAM. If we go to memory 2, you can see the two 2 gigabyte sticks that we actually populated, so called populated, are actually here too. And it tells uh, you that your Mac contains two memory slots, each of which accepts a 1600 MHz DDR3 memory module. So it's really cool. Uh, and you can actually make it have two terabytes of RAM. I've done that, but obviously for your main Hackintosh, don't do that because you'll have uh, RAM issues with applications thinking you've got two terabytes of RAM and then taking up your whole system memory. But just as a mess around, I did that. So I hope this video helps you and it makes it look more like it did on the burr metal way a couple of years ago. Thanks ever so much for watching. If you do need help, please visit my Discord server. But that's it. Goodbye.